Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. I'm Silver Orpheus. Last time, we traversed through Viridian City and also Viridian Forest and obtained ourselves a brand new team member. Spiro, which is flying out of us. This time around, we're going to be exploring Pewter City and taking on its Pokemon gym. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here in Pewter City. They're all bug catchers and the like. You know, just hobbyists. But Brock at the Pewter City gym isn't like that. Not one bit. Well, I guess we actually know something about our gym leader going coming up. Um, you're gonna talk about leader and sit, and it's not listening. So let's talk to you. See what you have to talk about. We got a Pokemon in a trade, so it's finicky and hard to handle. Pokemon you get from trades grow faster. Yep. If you don't have gym badges, Pokemon, well, below level. If you have a Pokemon below level 20, it's not gonna listen to you only if it's from a trade if it's a Pokemon you have caught yourself it'll listen to you no matter what I'll talk to you do you know what I'm doing no I'm spraying lure around to get wild Pokemon to come to visit my flower beds oh um, interesting and what do you have to say uh, no I don't know what you're doing I'm spraying repel around to keep wild Pokemon out of my flower beds. Ooh, okay these guys might actually have some conflicts going on with each other I don't know, but that can actually be pretty dangerous. Let's talk to you, good sir. Ah, it's so refreshing. Peter City stays lovely and cool since it lies at the base of the mountain. Uh, Spiro has found something as well. Granted, I can actually get, get out of the way of it. Let's talk to it. And you found a raspberry. Oh, that was a nana berry going into this test. Um, but it was a raspberry now. I guess the items here can actually be randomized. That is actually something I did not know. Uh, let's go on and enter here. See what you have to say. You've got a you got a better chance of catching a Pokemon if you throw your Pokeball and get them right in the center. Catching Pokemon is never a sure thing. Yeah, last episode. Pokemon learn new moves as they grow, but some moves must be learned by TMs. Yes. Some Pokemon can. TMs are something that we're going to be getting into a bit later, though. Not exactly now, because, well, we don't even have one, so... Talk to you. This is my sweet little Free. When she walks with me, she sometimes finds items in the wild. Yeah, it's kind of what our Spiro is doing. Anyway, let's head on in here and see what, see what we got going on. Alright, let's talk to you. Hello, it's 50 Poke Dollars for kids. Would you like to come in? Sure. Why not? Alright. Now we can, now once we're in here, this statue, this fossil, this statue appears as a sprite in Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, and Fire Red and Leaf Green. That sprite can sometimes be Nightmare Fuel. I'll try and show it on screen if I can. I can't guarantee it though. I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I'd get to see the bones of a dragon. Uh, is that thing a dragon? I'm actually curious. I don't know. It kind of looks just like this Pokemon right here. And it, it and that thing looks more like a dinosaur than a dragon. Just a suggestion. What do you have to say, good sir? This month we're running a space exhibit. Oh, a space exhibit. Those are actually really fun. I was up to you. Uh, and not Spiro. Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. Kid, I'm gonna let you be the one to try to evolve a Pokemon that you think evolves through level up when in reality it evolves through stone and you're never gonna know why. I want an Eevee. It's so cute. Daddy, can you please get one for me? Yeah, I'll get you an Eevee soon. I promise. That text and these two right here. That little girl would be wanting a Pikachu if you were playing Let's Go Pikachu. However, Let's Go Eevee players get the Eevee. It has, it has been decades since mankind stood on the moon, and now we're following the dream of standing on that faraway red planet. News about space always makes me so excited. Um, in a world where the planet Mars does not exist. Alright, let's go ahead and head on out of here. Okay, so here we have Pokemon Gym, which is 
the, pretty much the last thing we have to do here. However, we also have this lady over here. Oh dear, what am I supposed to do with you, Slowpoke? Oh, hello there. Do you think you could do me a favor? Sure. I want to go to the Peter Museum, but my dear Slowpoke just won't budge. Do you think you could keep an eye on my dear Slowpoke for a while? Yeah, I guess. Uh, Slowpoke is, well, a very... Lazy Pokemon, if I can say the least. It's also very derpy if its face is any indication. Um, and as its name would say, it's very slow. Not even joking. And we're, and for talking to her and watching her slowpoke, we get a big pearl. Big pearls only exist to be sold and nothing else. Useful if you're in need of money. Have you heard sto Have you heard the stories that say Hayes Clefairy came from the moon? People started seeing them after moonstones fell on Mount Moon. Yeah, I've heard that from the anime, but but you. Oh crap! I forgot about that item there. That was actually something that I uh, remember to pick up in test, but apparently I forgot to pick up now. So we're going ahead and do the and pick up that item, and then we'll just cut straight back to the gym. So we can just walk right past these bushes and pick up this X defense. All that for an X defense. I'll see you guys at the gym. <sighs> Back here at the gym, we have something else to talk about, of course. It's not going to be that easy, isn't it? Our Pokemon. We can do two things about it. We can hit Y and hit sort. I'm gonna go ahead and sort by Pokedex number. Because what this does is that this actually sorts all the Pokemon we have. And what we can do is that I can hit on this Kakuna right here and say send to the professor. I'm gonna go ahead and send away two of my Kakunas and one of my Bell Sprouts. And for doing that, we get Two tough candies and one mighty candy. Yeah, all that. Anyway. You're going to want to progress with... Your mo no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, you're going to want to add at least one grass type to your party. I'm not going to be using Bellsprout at all. But let's go ahead and head on into the gym. Oh, whoa, um, okay. I guess that's a thing. Aya, you're here to challenge the gym, aren't you? I'm not a trainer, but I can tell if you're worthy of challenging the gym leader. Now let's get started. The Peter City Pokemon Gym only allows house trainers who know type matchups to enter. There are a few types that have an advantage against the rock type, against the gym leader's rock type Pokemon. But for trainers who've never challenged a gym before, we have them use either grass or water type Pokemon. You have to show me a grass or water type Pokemon if you want to face the gym leader. Alright, sorry about the cut there, but yeah, we gotta show this guy a grass type Pokemon. No better Pokemon than Bellsprout. And in we go. Now, just a quick forewarning. You do, if you have a flying type Pokemon like Pidgey or Spearow on your team, you wanna go ahead and put that in the back because those, that Pokemon, those Pokemon are not good for what's coming up. Rock types will completely eat these eat, eat your birds alive, so I wouldn't even try. Anyway, Picnicker Amara here has a Geodude on her team. That's actually pretty bad. Um, well, for one thing, we have Eevee out here, which is a normal type. However, what we what she does not have that we do is Double Kick. In addition to that, Double Kick being super effective on Rock types, I guess it's about time we explain type matchups, especially for the Rock type. Rock is tied for having the most amount of weakness in the game with five. It, they're not that good types of Pokemon, especially Pokemon here like Geodude, which are part Ground type, which have which share two weaknesses with the Rock type, making them have 
two quad weaknesses. If you have, if you've leveled up a grass or water type Pokemon, which you need in order to enter this gym, this gym is laughably easy. I am on, I am not using Bell Sprite here just to make this a challenge. Anyway, this kid right here. Stop right there, kid. You're ten thousand light years from facing Brock. Kid, we we need to talk about something. We need to talk for, specifically about your measurements. That actually sounded very wrong when I think about it. Um, anyway, Camper Liam has a level 7 Geodude. And it's just like every other Geodude. One, a good set of double kicks will knock it out in a single blow. Uh, he's going to go in for tackle. And that's all she wrote. Goodbye. Bop. Geodude goes down, and that is Camper Liam's Pokemon. Now then, back to his line. I'm pretty sure you're about to quickly realize something, Liam. Oops. Light years isn't time. It measures distance. Good to know you caught yourself, because I was about to actually break it for you. Anyway, how's Spiro looking on experience? Spiro's very... Weak level wise. Um, two? Are you kidding me? Two experience? Wow, okay. I didn't anticipate something like that to happen this early, but game just loves to prove me wrong. Wow, that's just sad. Anyway, let's stop wasting time and actually fight the gym leader. So you're here. I'm Brock, Peter City. Peter City's gym leader. You can see just by looking at my Pokemon how rock hard my willpower is. My Pokemon are all, are all bleh. My Pokemon are all hard as rock and have true grit determination. That's right. My Pokemon are all rock types. Fuhaha, <laughs> you're going to challenge me even knowing that you'll lose? That's what a trainer's honor demands. So be it. Show me your best. We have Gym Leader Brock starting things off with Geodude. Geodude is level 11. Rock ground type, and its only move is Tackle. That's pretty pathetic. Anyway, let's go ahead and start things up. Let's go ahead and open things up in this battle up with a Tail Whip. Geodude is... Well, we already saw how the others did, so we already know exactly how this one's going to perform in comparison. Although this one is actually a bit more resilient than the others, which is why I'm going to be going for two tail whips here, as opposed to one. I mean, all this thing can really do is just tackle. That's it. So, we're just going to go in for the double kick, and that should be bye-bye Geodude. Yep, you're done. That one kick goes, knocks it out. Alright. So with Geodude down... We're gonna get 65 experience. Spiro finally goes level 9. I am still angry about that. Le two experience to the next level. You've gotta be kidding. Anyway, Brock's second and final Pokemon is Onyx. Level 12, Rock Ground type. Headbutt, Bind, and Rock Throw for the moves. This thing can do a lot more, and it also tanks a lot easier than Geodude. Um. I would not be surprised if a minus two, um, if I, yeah, a minus two defense Onyx survives the double kick that's going to be coming up next turn. Um, I mean, he's only using rock throw, which is good for us, and you're about to take a double kick to the face. So let's see if you can actually survive. Yes, you can. Okay, that is definitely a problem although we're, we're good we're all good here double kick you're down that is it so here we go 161 experience Bellsprout goes to level 7 and Eevee barely just misses out on a level and we defeated gym leader Brock it seems I underestimated you As 
proof of your victory. Take an official Pokemon League badge. A Boulder badge. That is very cute. That is a very... That, that's very cute. What the trainer did. Also, we got a Boulder badge from Brock. With a Boulder badge, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you. Without question. Oh, and wait. Take this with you, too. We got TM01 Headbutt. Yes. If you use a TM or technical machine, you can teach your po Pokemon to move within it. A TM can be used as many times as you like, so use it on any Pokemon you want. TM01 contains Headbutt. It deals damage to your Pokemon's to your opponent's Pokemon by ramming them with a head the head is hard as rock. Yes, and we're gonna go ahead and head on out. Because next time on Let's Play, Pokemon, let's go, Pikachu and Eevee. We're gonna progress What? Hey, you there, newbie! Don't tell me, you've gotta be Hunter, right? How did you know that? Cause you look just like my Gramps said. I'm blue. I heard from my Gramps that two kids set out from Pallet Town to become trainers, just like I did once. So I came to check you out. I was thinking you might want some. Uh, I was thinking you might want some advice on how to beat the gym leader from an expert trainer like me. But it look, but it looks like I showed up too late, huh? Seems you're not too shabby yourself. So I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. And we've received five Pokeballs from Blue. Those, those will be even better for catching Pokemon than plain old Pokeballs. And hey, that thing you've got there, that's a Pokedex, right? So Gramps finally went and made one. He used to make me just scribble on a map with a pencil about where I encountered Pokemon. You better do, it, you better do a good job helping him out. He may be Professor Oak. Oak to you, and sure. But he, and sure, he's an old coot. He's still my Gramps. Smell you later, newbie. And he also does the thing, yes! Anyway, as I was saying before, we got so rudely interrupted. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. We're going to go beyond Pewter City. See you guys then.